Serrano Castillo versus Jasmine Paolini is the first semi-final for the Dubai Championships for 2024. And both players were not expected to get this far. Castillo entered the tournament unseated and will take on Sofia Kennan in the first round. And after a close second set, would get through in straights 6-3, 7-6. In the second round, she'd take on the 13th seed Kudamatova, who had just beaten Yastremska in the first round. This was no problem for Kostea getting through in straights. 6-1, 6-4. In the third round, she'd take on Donna Vekic, who had just beaten Sabalenka, the Australian Open champion, in the second round. And after losing the first set, Kostea would fight back to win. 3-6, 6-3, 7-5. In the quarterfinal, she'd take on the Wimbledon champion and number 7 seed Von Drusova, who had started getting into a little bit of form this week. And after being down 6-2, 5-1 and multiple match points, Kostea would fight back to win in one of the best comebacks of the year, 2-6, 7-6, 6-2, to advance to the semifinals. Pellini entered the tournament, unseeded, and will take on the number 11 seed Hadaj Meyer in the first round. And after losing the first set, would fight back to win, 4-6, 6-4, 6-6, love. In the second round, she'd take on Fernandez, who'd been in form the last couple of weeks. This was no problem for Pellini getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-4. In the third round, she'd take on the number 8 seed Zachary, who hadn't been in great form throughout 2024. And this showed with Pellini getting through in straights, 6-3, 6-4-6-2. In the quarterfinals, she was supposed to play the number four seed Rabakina, who had played a lot of tennis over the last couple of weeks. But unfortunately, Rabakina got gastro, unable to play, handing the walkover to Paolini. These two have only played two times before, with Paolini winning both of those matches in three sets. Their last match being at the French Open last year in the first round, Paolini causing the upset against Castella, which at the time was a massive upset because Castella was playing really well. If Paolini's going to win this one, she needs to use the confidence of that head-to-head. -head. She knows it's not going to be easy, and she also got to use that fitness as well because she didn't play in the quarterfinals today whereas Castella did played a really long match so maybe there's some fatigue there Pellini's got to use that to her, her advantage and try and maybe move Castella around and try and make this match last a little longer Castella's going to win this one she needs to play much better in the first set and convert her chances she got away with it against Von Drusova who really started to play bad once she got the lead in the second set but she can't give away that many chances and expect to win matches going forward what a random matchup in a Dubai 1000 semi-final and both of these players deserve to be here they've both been really good but i've got to go with paolini in this one i think the head-to-head -head and also the day off might just help paolini and castella with almost the expectation of making the final and being 33 years old this might be a best chance to make a huge final i've got to go with paolini i think less pressure on her but let me know down in the comments below who have you got winning this one